Breaking news out of Washington, President Biden set to speak this afternoon, announcing his long-awaited plan to forgive student loans for millions of Americans seeking to deliver on one of his biggest campaign promises. Here's what we know so far. That plan would forgive up to $20,000 in loan debt for borrowers who went to college on federal Pell Grants. Those go to undergraduates with the most significant financial need. It would also cancel up to $10,000 for borrowers earning less than $100 $25,000 a year. The president is set to deliver his remarks there from the White House, 2.15 Eastern Time. We will bring you that live as soon as it begins. But first, let's talk with White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks, also ABC News business correspondent Deidre Bolton about what we're going to hear today. Mary Alice, what else are we learning about this debt forgiveness plan and what can we expect to hear exactly from the president today? Yeah, the White House is going to say that this is going to impact millions of Americans. And the numbers are remarkable. 20, 20 million uh, Americans would have their student loan debt completely forgiven. Uh, we know that so many student loan borrowers hold uh, less than $10,000 in student loans. The White House says that in total, 43 million borrowers will have their debt impacted and that 90 percent of the people who will have uh, debt forgiveness after this announcement will make, make currently less than seven $75,000 a year. So they're trying to say, look, this is sweeping. It hits a lot of people, tons of people, tens of millions of people, and that it is mostly targeted to those who uh, make less than $75,000 a year who have potentially the hardest time paying back these loans. And we know that that is true in some of the numbers. Statistically, borrowers who have maybe less uh, less debt, maybe only ten dollars or $20,000 in debt, can be some of the borrowers that have the hardest time paying back that debt because of, of their earning potential or because of of, of wages that they have. Yeah. So Deidre, $10,000, it doesn't sound like a lot when it comes to student loan debt. My gosh, I just think of my debt alone. What kind of impact do you think that this could have for graduates, you know, struggling to pay those loans? But I want to underline some of the excellent points that Marianas just made. I mean, the point is, is that less than a third or rather one third of Americans owe less than $10,000, almost half owe less than $20,000. So we're talking about a bucket, if you like, of 43 million Americans. So basically this Biden plan is either going to directly help wipe out the debt of at least a third, if not half. So that is a pretty significant part of the conversation. The extension as well, the idea that basically all of these students thought they were gonna have to start paying their loans off just at the end of next week. So this is really an 11th hour decision by the Biden administration and the fact that loans are still being frozen, Kira, through the end of the year, that's just going to allow a little bit of flexibility in some ways. It gives a lot of people a heads up. OK, this is what's coming. And now for the last time, this deadline, which has been ex extended numerous times, now we know the deadline is the end of this calendar year. So in theory, this helps the people who are the most vulnerable. And it also gives a true heads up as to when the so-called frozen state of a lot of these loans will finally end, Kira. So Mary Alice, President Biden did pledge to tackle student loan debt during his campaign. So how does this plan compare to what he promised from the very beginning? Yeah, well, he was always a little bit uh, iffy about what exactly he was promising. He said that he wanted to work on this. He wanted to work with Democratic partners on this. And we saw over the last year so many Democratic colleagues on Capitol Hill, and not just progressives. I mean, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, as so many Democrats urging him to take big, bold action here. Uh, but the president was very careful. He kept his cards close to his chest. He didn't want to uh, reveal just how big or how bold he was willing to go. You know, I think that some Democrats today are a little bit disappointed. They were hoping uh, for frankly, bigger numbers here. But in the end, I think that this is uh, sort of in line with what we've seen from this president. Um, it's a pretty measured approach. Uh, and I think that what's interesting, especially politically, is that income cap. You know, it's, we've seen a lot of Republicans very quick to argue that there shouldn't be uh, you know, they say government handouts, cash handouts for doctors or lawyers or high income earners. So the fact that this will only apply to people making $125,000 or less a year is Democrats clearly and the White House clearly trying to get ahead of some of that criticism. And Mary Ellis, I mean, speaking of criticism, the NAACP, right, criticized the president's plan ahead of this announcement. Let's talk about uh, what what that group has said and feels and how is the president going to respond to them? 
Yeah, look, they're not alone. A lot of Democrats view this as a key racial equity issue. And the numbers are sort of pan out to that. We know that black college graduates often graduate with twice as much debt as their white counterparts, and especially black women can have a hard time paying back uh, student loans. That's largely due to a wage gap. We know that still in America, black women often make less uh, than white women, white men for the same jobs. And so often this kind of debt is really hard. And it's hard for, for families, black families often, uh, you know, going into the college process. I mean, statistically across the board, on average, we know that a lot of black families just don't have the same level of wealth uh, going into the college process. So they have to take out more loans to help students, to help uh, their kids. And so that's why the NAACP and others have really viewed this, like I said, as a racial equity issue and are going to continue to press this White House to work on things like the rising cost of tuition and debt down the road. Yeah, we'll talk about the concerns, too, that could worsen inflation. Deidre, Mary Alice, we, we, of course, will talk more about this throughout the day. We are waiting for the president to speak live, 2.15 Eastern time. We will take it right here and come back to you both. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.